Living with Tinnitus 2024. It's been about five years since I put out this video and some people have requested an update. So let's reiterate what it's like to live with tinnitus. Your ears ring. That's it. <laughs> it's not very fun. Um, most of the time I hardly notice it these days. Uh, my mind is just elsewhere. I'm either distracted with family or I'm working on something. Doesn't really bug me. And so I'm really blessed in that regard, that it's not an overpowering sound or sensation. It's not particularly frustrating. And it, yeah, it's taken a lot of time to get my mind right about it, to, to get to that place where I can just ignore it. Sure. But, uh, but for the most part, it's not that debilitating at this point in my life. Um, a lot of times, if my diet is really bad... And you define that however you will. You know what you eat, and it makes you feel worse. You get tired after eating it. You feel bogged down. Maybe you get some brain fog. Maybe, maybe it gives you indigestion. You know, whatever the thing is that makes your diet bad. When, I'm, when my diet is bad, the ringing is worse. It's um, heavier, in a way. I wish you could describe it better than that. Because, I mean, what's a sound that's heavy? I... I don't really know how to describe it. Maybe the pressure is more in that regard. Um, if things are really silent and I'm listening to it, it um, it's more present with a bad diet, if that kind of makes sense. Um, caffeine. If I overdo caffeine, wow, the pitch goes up, volume increases. Um, not the biggest fan of overdosing on caffeine. I have a cup from time to time pretty much daily over the past year <laughs> but uh, if I have more than X amount I don't know two cups or so then yeah it's it's gonna affect the ringing sound um, alcohol does the same sorry to tell you but uh, drinking alcohol the next day it's way worse way like double the the pressure and volume of caffeine I I would highly recommend to curb your caffeine amounts and avoid alcohol if you have tinnitus. At least for me, it kind of, it aggravates it. So, oops. Um, I know when I don't exercise enough, it gets louder. Couldn't tell you why. Mixtures of uh, cardio and stretching and weightlifting keep the volume, that, that pressure build up in my ears, it keeps it lower. Um, but from day to day, just my, if I'm working out and I'm watching what I eat and I'm not drinking too much of any substance, it's pretty manageable. I, I have enough on my plate that I just don't think about it. Right now, if I just listen, yep, still ringing. Still my best friend, always with me. Whee! I'll never hear silence. Okay. I actually like white noise. I like when there's a fan on. Uh, sleeping, it helps, sure. Day-to-day um, -day life, there's almost always a sound. You're always in a meeting or talking with someone or listening to something on uh, YouTube. So it's it's just not really an issue for me anymore. Um, is it there? Does it get distracting? Yes to the first one, no to the second. It, maybe it's because I'm in my mid-30s. And I just lived with it my whole life, you know, more or less. And <laughs> I'm just kind of used to it. So hopefully you can get to this place. Hopefully you can get to a place where it's just, it is what it is. It doesn't bug you. If not, mm, there's been times, that, you know, about a decade ago or more. Yeah, 15 years, decade. Yeah. There's been times when I would cry, when I would just break down. Because it was just so aggravating. It was too loud. It was too much pressure. It was too frustrating. It's just frustrating. And if you're in that place, man, I'm, I'm praying for you. I, I hope you figure out what you need to do to fix it. For me, I cut out junk food. I cut out excessive caffeine. I cut out alcohol. I, I cut out... What else? A sedentary lifestyle. Yeah, I, I would say the cardio and lifting weights helps a lot. But, um, man, that's tough. It, um, it's not easy when you're in that place. 
when it's distracting and painful. Uh, and I'm very blessed that where I'm at now is much more tame, much more manageable. All those lifestyle changes, yeah, I mean, that's great and all, and that's helpful for a variety of reasons. But um, the, the biggest thing, I think, is just staying busy. You stay busy upstairs. Gives you something to do. You got something to look forward to each day. You got uh, something to work on, something to live towards. Then it doesn't bug you because, I mean, I got stuff to do. I can't just be listening to the ringing. Something, okay, here's a little guilty uh, admonition here. A little admission of something I used to do. Um, I used to listen to the ringing in my ears, wondering if I was crazy. You know, if you just listen long enough. Yeah, I, I, I come from a long line of people who have had various health problems. And before I was in my 30s, I was thinking, like, maybe I'm just crazy. <laughs> maybe what this is is, like, some kind of psychosis, right? So I would just be silent, and I would listen. Maybe it'll turn into voices. Maybe, like, something supernatural. Maybe, it's, maybe I am crazy, you know? And, and I would listen to that ringing, and it always just stayed ringing. No voices here. Yay? That's good, right? That's... I... <laughs> but yeah, there's a little uh, little something about 20-year-old Luke trying to figure out what the heck this is. Um, yeah, not much today. I'll, I'm writing up some stuff for videos tomorrow and the rest of the week, but uh, just wanted to update you all and hopefully give a little bit of hope to anyone who's struggling with this. It actually does get easier if you take care of yourself and you can find a way to get used to it. Not the best advice, not possible for a lot of people, but I, I hope that you are one of those people it's possible for to just learn how to ignore it. Maybe I'll do videos in the future with more tips on that, more specificity for how to do so. But uh, that's my tinnitus update. It ain't so bad. And I hope yours is the same. Thanks. Have a great day.